Hi everyone, my name is David and today we are going to build together a cool application for iOS uh, which is going to be a shopping list application. Uh, we are going to start from the scratch and uh, once we finish the application will be ready to upload to App Store. I have already done the application and uh, right now you can find it on App Store. I'm going to show you how to download if you want. but. Um, Right now I'm going to just show you how the application works and uh, what exactly we are going to build so you can get an idea what we are doing here. I don't expect you to know anything about uh, iOS uh, development or Xcode or uh, Swift but if you know anything about it, um, if you have built some application previously this will be much easier for you to follow. Anyhow, uh, let's just jump into the application and I'm going to show you the end result of our course. So let's navigate to, um, to my iPhone here. I have it on, it's running on iOS uh, 10.3 on my iPhone 6s and this is my application Pro Shopping List. So when I open it, uh, let's, let me log out first. This is the first screen you are going to see uh, to log in in case if you have forgotten password you can request it or to sign up this will bring another uh, view for you to sign up. Right, I'm going to log in. This is a dummy account for test. Sign in. And once we log in, we can see our all lists here. Uh, every time a user wants to create a shopping list, let's say you want to go for shop, uh, you can just click on plus icon, it asks you for the name, uh, test name here, click save, and our test name shopping list appears here. As you can see, we have a total items and uh, total price of our, of our shopping list, and also the date it was created. Uh, let's go to the one I have created previously. So I can show you how the interface looks. On the top left we have uh, the items left to buy, so it's in our shopping list. And on top right we have total price of our shopping list, what we have added. So we have uh, two table sections here, the shopping list that we have to buy and the bought items that we already bought. So in case um, you, are, you have bought, let's say, potatoes, you can just slide from uh, from left to right and click buy and it will uh, disappear from our shopping list and appear in our bought items so like this is our shopping basket here and then the items left uh, also gets updated uh, in case if you want to put something back you can again slide to right and return the item also we can delete item if you have noticed um, this nice cool application uh, this slide animations uh, we are going to do together and uh, then you can add also items uh, picture to your uh, to your shopping items uh, by clicking on it you can edit the item and then you can let's say uh, uh, you can change pineapple to be big and click save now our pineapple is big uh, this grocery basket here is the default image in case if you didn't put any image uh, for your uh, for your item, it will appear as a default image. Then uh, we can also add an item. Uh, when you click new item here, it will show you the same screen as we had for editing. And here you can add your item. Or uh, you can say search item. Here we have our often used items. So uh, let's say uh, you are shopping every week and you are buying an orange juice. You don't need to type it every time. You just come here, hit it, and it will appear in your shopping list. Uh, then on the bottom uh, middle we have my items. This is the part we were just now. You can add any. Uh, you can add any items here. So these are the often used items. Also, as you can see, we can search here. Uh, if I tab and search, for example, for apples, it appears. Uh, we also can click and edit, for example, the price here. Click save and it becomes three euros. Um, we can add, as I said, and usually when you add a new item here, for example, let's add uh, uh, 
tomato uh, extra info let's say red quantity 2 uh, price 1.5 and when I click save it asks me if I want to add this to my uh, uh, my items which are I'm using often so if I click yes it will add to my list here and plus it will add the tomatoes to my list here so I can uh, just next time I can come and click on it and it will add to my list also we have settings section here you can choose a currency I have few of mainly used ones um, and you have a sign out button when you click you can sign out um, every user that is signed in to our application the, the application is using Firebase which is a real-time database let's say um, you have went you are went to shopping and uh, your wife gave you the shopping list and for some reason she forgot to add something to the list she can just open the application add something to your list and in real uh, time it will appear in your shopping list and she can also follow which items you have bought or which items you have uh, you, you need to still buy so um, this is the application we are going to build together so if you like it and you want to learn how to build this cool application and uh, upload to App Store uh, you can subscribe to my class and we are going to build it together also uh, let me quickly show you this is on App Store we go to App Store search pro shopping list let me see if I can find it ah here it is so this is the application as you can see I have downloaded it already but uh, you can uh, you can come and download it if you want so you can see what we are going to build together so as I said this is the application um, I hope you like the introduction and uh, you are going to join my class uh, trust me we are going to have a, uh, have really fun time together building this application and you are going to learn a lot of it thank you for watching See you soon.